What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back for another co-part walk around out here in Oklahoma City. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list, the most awesome 1991 Toyota Tercel you are ever going to see in your life right here. I know it looks crazy, right? I don't know why it's here, but I freaking love this thing. I, I said I was done buying cars for a while. I don't think so. I, I need this car. I don't know what it's going to go for, but I want it. I absolutely want this car. It is, it is absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Take a look. Take a look at this tailpipe. I could fit my whole freaking hand in there. You could fist that sucker. You know what I mean? Massive tailpipe. And to go along with it, this ridiculous wing. I just, I have to know what's under the hood. Do you guys comment below right now? Do you think this is like a highly modified, you know, turbo boosted Toyota? Or do you think it's all stock under the hood and it's strictly cosmetic? I, I think, I haven't seen, I didn't cheat, but I think there's probably something special under that hood. Look at the fenders on this thing. I don't know who did this, but take a look at this. Look at the, you want to talk about a gap? Holy crap, man. Oh, Vox wheels custom paint kind of a matte paint job on the bottom and then up here on the top this is where things get absolutely crazy i hope that this is coming out on camera let me turn the other direction so i can get the sunlight in there take a look at that wow that is that is crazy and i mean it goes all up the pillar and the whole roof this is wild let's go around to the hood take a look at this oh my yeah i want this i know that people are like oh it's just a toyota just i don't care man i like cars guys I, I know some of you probably go make fun of this there may have been a time i would have made fun of it too i don't know but here's what i got to say about it it's something that somebody made unique to them it doesn't have to be a quarter million dollar car it doesn't have to be an Aston Martin. It doesn't have to be a McLaren. It can be just a Toyota Tercel that somebody said, you know what, I don't have all the money in the world, but I'm going to take something and I'm going to make it unique. I'm going to make it custom to my liking. Well, here it is, guys. And I'm sorry, you can't tell me this is not cool. It's all fun and games till someone gets hurt. Then it's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know who you stole this car. This thing's cool. This thing is cool. Let's take a peek at the inside real quick. Oh. Okay, that's not going to happen. The paint's starting to come off. I don't think the prep work was very good on this. It used to be blue. Oh, no. I'm telling you, there's something under this hood, guys. This ain't stock. Is that alligator? Is that alligator? No way. That can't be real. That can't be real. It's not thick enough to be real. I don't think. You guys can't blow, but look at that sheen. It's got an alligator look to it. You got a three-point harness right here. Look at this. Oh, that is serious. But that is no joke, guys. She's got the harness, the heavily bolstered seats, and then this. Because if you're in an accident, high-speed racing, this is what you want to hit every time. All right. I'm going to sit it. Oh, wow. You fall into this. Um, you got this boy right here. Woo. He looks mean. And then you got this custom radio. What is this? Guys, there's something. There's there's more to this car than what I'm understanding. I, I there, There's got to be. There's got to be. What is... Is this a radio? Or does it have a PA system? I don't know. The mileage on this bad boy is 72,000 according to the odometer. Let's put the key in, see if it's got any juice. This is going on my list. 100%. Nah, she's dead. Dead as a doornail. Let's pop the hood. Ugh, I just ate dirt. Hood's already popped. Let's take a peek. Please, please tell me that there is something really really special under the hood of this car please 
Oh, man. Are you serious? Well, that's disappointing. Uh, disappointing would be a serious understatement at this point. I was really looking for, I was really looking for something cool under here, man. Instead, we just got a, we just got a plain Jane little motor, little 1.5 liter, single cam. All right, well, does it? It's got air conditioning though, so there's that. It's a manual transmission with cool paint and air conditioning. I can tell you this though, she's been sitting a long time. I don't know how well you guys can see all the the crud under here, but there's like there's mouse stuff and there's yeah this thing's been sitting a very long time i'd like to find the hood prop which used to sit right there but that seems to be missing so we can't prop the hood either it used to be the that blue color under there and another thing i noticed was you could see all the all the crap on the wipers look at that look at this yeah you see what i mean that's how you know she's been sitting a long time there's stuff stuck in here as well yeah and even more back here where the water has pulled up and you got twigs and yeah, she's been sitting a long time i don't expect this one's gonna run guys but i wouldn't be me if i didn't throw a quick jump on it and see if we can at least get it to run or at least crank hopefully it at least cranks i'm gonna assume the fuel system is probably trashed but i'd at least like to hear her crank over moment of truth oh no thank you we could pass on that i still want to know what this radio does test 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 really that's all it is so all it does is play back what you're saying through the mic in your speakers all right that kind of sucks truthfully that shifter is a little she's a little old and worn out a little bit of slop going on in there but she shift through the gears for you clutch it feels like it has one it runs? No way! It's out of gas and she does not run good. She does not run well. Wait, it cleaned up. It cleaned up. Does it have let's see, does it have a clutch? Yes. Let's try fifth gear. Yeah, we can stall it in fifth. That means that uh she's got a relatively strong clutch, guys. No way! I might just have to buy this thing. Guys, guys, I might just have to buy this. 10-4. Or we're going to be blown by the Smokies there at uh, 130 miles an hour. So watch out for those uh, those pokes over there. Alright, listen. I don't want to run this thing for long. Because, you know, I have no idea what condition it's, it's in. But <laughs> I can't believe this. This is the last thing I need, but I, I do think I'm going to go ahead and throw me a little bit on her. I mean, she runs, she's got gears, she's got wheels and tires. This thing's cool as hell, man. You guys comment below. Tell me what you think of the little old Tercel. Next on my list, a 2017 Hyundai Sonata. This is a little interesting. It's from Carvana. That's right. And... The car owner is showed to be Bridgecrest Acceptance. Now, I've bought several cars from Carvana. I hear a lot of stories about people having a lot of problems and titles, and I've seen it on the news. I have no doubt that's the case, but I'm here to tell you, as somebody that's purchased cars from Carvana myself and had them delivered to my door, I've never had a problem. I bought a Tesla Model 3 Performance, and I bought a BMW i3 both of them delivered to my door without an issue. I never had a title tag problem, nothing, no payment issues. Um, this means, since it's from Bridgecrest, Bridgecrest is who finances you through Carvana. So if you use Carvana's financing and purchase a car from them, you owe the money to Bridgecrest. That's the bank. Since the owner is Bridgecrest, that tells me this car was repossessed. They found it and they took it back. It even still has the temp tag in the back, which is interesting. Somebody ripped it off the back of the car there. And I thought this car was in a wreck because I saw that it had this plastic all over it. Instead, what I find is that somebody smashed the back window. <coughs> Excuse me. Why did they smash the back window? Well, obviously, they wanted to get into the car. 
But I think there might be more to it than that. I'm wondering... Oh. Oh. What is that? Oh, wow. <clears throat> and the smell. Wow. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Mm -mm -mm. This car smells pretty rank. She's pretty. She's she's pretty rank. So I'm guessing. I mean, what would you do? You'd break through that window, and you can access what? The seats? I mean, what? No. What can you even access by breaking through this window? Because the door lock is way over here. Maybe if you got a coat hanger or something, you know, or a special tool. Maybe you could have popped it from there, I guess. But if it was a locksmith or something, you'd think they would have put those little wedges in here and just unlocked the door without busting out a window. So, I, I don't know. Maybe the previous owner locked the keys in the car and busted the window to get in. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not going to show a, a name or anything on this. But, oh, that doesn't even go to this car. <laughs> that doesn't even go to this car. Hold up. So, somebody had put... <laughs> <laughs> their tag I guess is, is this what was on here yeah it is that's what was on there for sure interesting so somebody used whiteout in fact I think this is just paper somebody copy this there is whiteout right here whiteout here <laughs> there's whiteout all over this this is for a 2015 Volkswagen Jetta <laughs> Needless to say, the cops found that out pretty quickly, and I'm, I'm assuming they impounded it, and then it went back to the, the rightful lien holder, Bridgecrest Financial. Um, <laughs> somebody bought this car, and then they couldn't afford to tag it, so they put fake plates on it. And I'm here to tell you, man, that, that'll get you by for a little while, but it won't get you by forever. You get a bag full of, a box full of stuff that I wouldn't want, and it, it smells pretty bad in here. It does. I'm assuming this is a run and drive, though. I, I I don't even want to sit in this one, guys. This is disgusting. Look at these seats. I mean, this 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 one's pretty bad. This one is pretty bad. Tell me it's got a, a key. Yeah, it's got a key in the ignition. I just, I don't want to sit in this car if I don't have to. Ooh. That's rough. I can say this, it used to be a nice car. I mean, it, it, you could tell it was a nice car. It looks like somebody smashed up the windshield, too. And I don't think that was by accident. I don't. That looks like direct impact points, man, where somebody bang, bang, bang over there, too. Bang. Somebody was beating on this thing. Man, that's sad. That's sad, you know. I know that nobody has sympathy for big companies, especially, you know, like Carvana or Bridgecrest or whatever. I, I get that. But at the same time, you know, as a business owner myself, I, I understand that, you know, you've got money tied up in one of these vehicles. You know, you have real money tied up in each one of these cars. When somebody doesn't pay and then they destroy the car, you lose a lot of money. When you lose money on one car, that means you got to raise prices on other cars to compensate for the money you're losing on something like this. So it's just, it's... What's that old saying? Snowballs roll downhill, right? <laughs> you know the saying. I'm not going to say it, but uh, blank rolls downhill. It's one of those things, man. If you think corporate's going to eat it, not a chance, man. They're just going to increase rates and prices to compensate for the people that are doing stuff like this. Let's put a jump on it. Let's see what it does. I heard everything come to life. I want to try. I, I'm just going to have to sit in it. I've sat in worse. It's just, God, the smell. Ooh. Ugh. I don't know what 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 makes that smell. <sighs> Come on. Get on there. <sighs> I don't want to have to do this another time. It, it just everything about this car is disgusting. This thing needs it needs to be burned. Look at that. I mean it's all burnt. That's all charred and burnt from like can you see it right there? From cigars and cigarettes. There's ashes everywhere. This is so bad. Oh, dude, no. It sounds like the cat got cut. Or someone attempted to cut the catalytic converter off of it. That's what it sounds like. 
100,000 miles on the odometer, 100,281. Oh, wow. It goes into gear forward and backward. Forward's a little slow. Yeah, forward's a little slow. Radio works. I heard the compressor kick in. Important window. Yes. Less important window. Yes. Steering. Yes. Brakes feel good. Uh, boy, is that max AC? Because that sure don't feel, I don't feel cold to me. Oh boy, you've got lots of stuff in the glove box there. Yeah. This car comes with all kinds of goodies, guys. None of which I would want. Yeah, I thought the AC compressor kicked on, but it must not have. I'm going to shut this off. Can we pop the trunk? I don't want it. No, there's no key fob or anything. Ooh, maybe I got to have the key on to pop the trunk. I'm just curious. I got a feeling there might be some... No. Can we... Yeah. Yeah, I figured there would be. I mean, there's not much. There's some toilet, dirty toilet supplies, like house cleaning supplies, a gas can, some of that kind of stuff, man. Yeah. That's, that's sad. Sad to see a good car. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't care for Hyundais. You know, I get that, but I'm one of the people that actually, I love Hyundai and Kia. I've had several of them, and they were great cars, man. They took good care of me. Uh, so I really hate to see nice cars just destroyed, you know. I mean, I understand car accidents happen, but, like, you don't have to destroy your car like this. You know what I mean? That's a choice, not something that just happens. Last on my list says it's a non-runner. We'll see about that. A 2019 Toyota Tundra with the iForce 5.7 V8 TSS package. This is nice. This is really nice. So I fail to see why it wouldn't run. It's a Toyota, man. These things always run. SR5, TSS Off-Road. Look at those meaty tires, man. This thing looks like she's ready to roll. The only reason that I could see for this not to run would be if... Oh, we got the skid plate under there. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, I might have missed something. <laughs> I might have missed something on this one. I was going to say, if it doesn't have keys, this is nice. This is a really nice looking truck. I can see the key hanging from the dashboard, so why would it not run? I mean, the license plate holder there is broken. All right, that's a clear sign that something happened. Maybe that could have been from a loader, from a tow truck, or anything. Oh, what do we got under here? Nothing. There's nothing wrong under here, guys. I mean, this is a little off there, but... Huh. I love a good mystery. I'm a sucker for a mystery. And this, this is a mystery. This should run. She might have a little bit of mileage on her, though. Looks awful clean on the outside. Inside's pretty... Ooh, oh. It's a flood. I know that smell anywhere. That's mold. Ah, 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 look. Look, look, look. Water. That's from standing water. There's sand in here as well. And dirt. There's lots of dirt and sand in the carpet. Oh, this has been underwater. Ooh, look at all the sand in here. Okay. Yeah, that, smell, that smells bad. That's a bad smell. I wonder if we could find a water... Ooh. West thing got in deep, didn't it? She got in real deep. Yeah. You can see the sand all over the door sill there. What I don't see, though, is a water line. I love finding water lines, and I'm just, I'm just not seeing a water line. Let's see under here. I don't know. It's a little rusty. It's a little rusty there. How high did the water get? I mean, it looks to me like it got up to somewhere around the middle or just above that center console. So, ooh, yeah, I don't know about this. That could just be dirty though, right? Yeah, that's the question is how high did the water actually get in here? Definitely smells like flood. 
for sure. We do have the key. Let's go and put it in the ignition and see if anything happens. No, of course not. Nothing happens at all. Now let's pop the hood. Let's take a peek. Let's check the oil. And let's just see what she's doing here. Oh, this is a tight fit. I need to lose some weight or something, man. How do you... There we go. Let's take a peek. You know, this could just been somebody that lived down a dirt road, man. I don't know. We'll find out what that oil looks like. Oh. Oh. Well. Yeah, we ain't even gonna try to fire that up. Scratch that. Maybe this wasn't a flood. Maybe someone left the windows down and it got wet on the interior? What the heck? Well, she's got no oil. None. I mean, no oil at all, but I didn't see anything underneath that looks like it was leaking. I also noticed, I don't know if you guys can see that, spider webs. We got spider webs under the hood. That tells me she's been sitting for a while. I could be wrong about everything. Maybe it just threw a rod, or maybe something hit the oil pan and it busted, and we're just not seeing it. I'm gonna throw a jumper pack on it real quick, just because I wanna see the dashboard and see if everything lights up, and hopefully we can see the miles. But we are not going to try to start this one. Well, she's making noise. Things are lighting up. 93,700. 96 miles. I told you she had some miles on her. Yeah, I knew she had some miles on her. The screen works. Oh, I wish we could try to start it. I'm not going to, though. I'm not going to. LDA malfunction visit dealer. Yeah. Dang. I like this truck. I like this truck a lot. But I'm telling you, off camera, I took another peek under there. I don't see anything. Like, nothing. I see nothing at all. And it's got oil on the dipstick, but it's way outside of the safe zone. Like, it's nowhere near safe to run this engine with that low of oil. So, could it just be that it's low on oil? Could this actually start? Could it be that it's got a hole in the block? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have a guess, you comment below and tell me. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get out of here. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching today's video, and thank you to Copart for letting us come out here. If you enjoyed the content today, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Share the video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.